Hello everyone, Justin here and today we are going to draw something fairly simple a feather. So let's start by drawing a nice gentle curve going across the page and then draw another line almost parallel and it starts down here and then as we get closer to the tip it's gonna get closer together to a point. So this center section of the feather is called the rachis and down here would be the quill. This is what they would use before to write. So let's go to the tip here of the feather and start heading back this way. And we're going to go further and further away from the rachis. Okay, let's start right here. And you can kind of make this line somewhat undulating. And then at some point, the feather itself, this, these parts here, the barbs, start to separate. So we'll go back a little bit. And then here, let's say it separates here to the rachis. And then let's draw the, another line next to it to show where it's separated and then keep going back. Again, we're getting farther and farther away from the rachis. And then another separation, maybe not quite as deep. And then another one, and then a short one. And then we're starting to um, even out. Now we're more or less parallel to the center, okay? and stop right there. So now let's just go down a little bit here and to finish off this feather we're going to this side of the feather the upper section we're going to we're going to add these lines just to show that this section of the feather also called the after feather is separating quite a bit and back to the rachis. Okay, now let's go <clears throat> to this side of it. Let's draw the other vein. This whole section, I believe, is called a vein, and all these separate parts that come off the rachis are called barbs. So let's go and do the other vein. Now this side will be closer to you, so it's going. we're going to have the outline a little bit further from the rachis. So let's go down again somewhat undulating line and then maybe here let's draw a separation of the barbs and then keep going and then let's say this one goes all the way to the center and then back and separating quite a bit here and now we can try to we can kind of make this part fairly uneven Usually the tip stays together longer and then it separates more closer to the base by the after feather. So here I'm just going to show that it's separating quite a bit by adding more lines that go towards the rachis here. And now we're at the after feather and again just like there I'll draw this with separate lines to show that these are all separating and I'm gonna go ahead and lengthen this part a little further to the end and just finish that off with a small curve okay so that's pretty much the feather now what we could do is add some shading and what I'll do here is I'll just add some lines coming off of the rachis from the center line just to show the direction of the barbs and add some shading closer to the rachis here or the shaft sometimes it's also called the shaft so I'll just add some shading just parallel lines
and you can just bury this however way you want and I think it'll look fine okay so to make this a little bit more interesting I'm gonna just make some of these outlines a little bit thicker and I'm just gonna use the same marker here you could use a regular sharpie that's thicker but then it's a little bit harder to taper it so it gets thin as we go closer this way so I'm just gonna use this make it thicker out here and that should be pretty much it and that just kinda makes it a little bit more interesting where not all the lines are the same width and same here I'm just gonna stylize this tip a little bit and that should pretty much do it thanks for watching and please like share and subscribe have a great day